This is Star Talk. Taylor from Eugene, Oregon, is uh, asks: uh, Do gravitational waves have any direct effect on the physical environment? For example, if an event causing gravitational waves occurred close enough to Earth, would it have any discernible effect on humans or the planet? Well, that's a question I can even answer. And in fact, if we 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 measured this event from two black holes, and I have to start that way, which was there fortunately for us, 1.2 billion light years away, but. Had we been, let's say, within a few tens of years of that, uh -huh. we would have measured something. And you would have measured exactly what we measure in our detectors. You wouldn't stretched in one dimension mm -hmm. and then compressed in the other dimension. You would have felt that. Now, we resist yeah. uh, stretching and compression, but our you know, auditory mechanism is designed to resonate in response. Do you think that we could technically hear a gravitational wave even in the no, absence of I air? I don't think that's, that's not because... I've it's, been saying this for months. Well, I don't think it's true. <laughs> uh, well, I think, let me, let's get to that yeah. problem, privacy issue right away. Because we've, we, and not you, mm -hmm. we have generated some confusion mm -hmm. by saying this is listening to the universe, <laughs> which is what a lot of people have said about this. Yeah. And it's true. But it's nothing. It's not necessarily a sound wave that's exciting us. You see, and what what is happening is that we are seeing these stretchings and compressions, and that's certainly going on in your ear too. Mm -hmm. The compression and extension, even for that one mile, one one year away, light year away, mm -hmm. is still too small for your right. ear. So how I close think, do you? Th oh yeah, I would yeah, agree. You, with if that. you got close enough, you would. But if you got close entire, enough, yeah, you would feel it over your whole body, mm -hmm. and you might hear something. But mm -hmm. that's not what we're doing. What so we're doing. So like a sound wave is like the compression and expansion of the air around you. That's and right. This is. The actual space itself is doing that. Yeah, but, but be careful. What it is is space, you're right. Space is doing the expansion and the compression. On the other hand, our instruments, this is where it gets converted into sound. That's why I looked at your microphone. Right. Uh, is uh, that What we do is we have a device that measures these very tiny displacements. We're using light and the timing of light. But then we convert that into a sound by amplifying it. And then that gets put into a loudspeaker, yes, and then it makes a sound. Mm -hmm. Look, the important- It's a lot like an electric guitar. Exactly, but exactly like an electric car. Yeah. You've got a very good analogy. Yeah. <laughs> very good analogy. And, and the other thing is that it's an, the, other, the other piece of it is that this phenomena, these phenomena we're seeing, a phenomena we're seeing, are things that have the frequency of our, auto, of our auditory system. That's the nature is making things with frequencies that run from the bottom of the piano to the top of the piano. And that's just by chance. That just well, that's because be the things that. we're looking at, well, it's a little more than that. What it is is our instrument's only sensitive in that band, okay? okay? And on top of that, nature's kind enough to give us something that does its wiggling and expanding and contracting and accelerating in that frequency band. A couple of black holes collide. They That's happen right. to ring space-time in the human auditory frequency. Exactly. So let's but, yeah, okay, so it's not sound waves traveling through, no. through space. I just don't want to have that. It's like an electric guitar string. is exactly. not a sound That's wave a traveling through a wonderful analogy for people. But you had to build LIGO to build the body of the guitar. That's the to guitar. To record the shape Absolutely. of the, of the wave. That's a beautiful analogy. <laughs> Excellent. And then we're going to all break out into <laughs> air-style guitar. <laughs> <laughs> 